Here's how to make a slideshow in Freeware from Windows called Movie Maker. We start at Movie Maker. First step, we have to load in all the images. So I have them on the USB drive. Here they are. We select them all and open them up. They show up on what's uh, usually called a timeline inside of uh, Windows Movie Maker. Now we've been told the first two slides need to be three seconds long. They're a blank and a title slide. Okay, so we make them three seconds. The second, the end slides need to be uh, credits and um, and we move that to the end. So a credits and a blank slide, three seconds long also. And all the slides in between, I'm just going to make them two seconds right now just to start off, just to see how things go. So the width of the slide somewhat respective to how long it's going to play, its duration. If you hover over it, you see a little bit of info. Uh, some instruction for AV Show says finish on a high note, so I put all the bright uh, cars at the end. And a little bit of the explanatory, explanatory stuff at the beginning. It sort of sets the scene. So the next step we want to do is add the music. I picked up uh, Cars, a song called Cars. You just open it. In Movie Maker, it just fills it all in, uh, chops it off at the end for you. Now, at the beginning, you can hear there's a, some stuff that's not too exciting. So we're going to try to find out where the uh, vocal starts, which is where I want to start the um, the art, the video, the the music. So we just have to listen to it. So the intention, the intention later on is to chop all this away. So let's listen now. Okay, so right around the white car, just after the white car, he started to sing. So we're going to chop off most of the uh, track before that. So we'll go to the Edit tab, Music Tools. We position the read head there. We're going to say Split. So it's broken the uh, music track into two. One side is selected. We want the other side. We'll click on it to select it. And then we're going to just delete it. Once we delete it, Music Movie Maker automatically shifts everything to the start. We still have lots of uh, music at the end. It just chops it off automatically. So here we go. So the uh, voice started more or less where I want it to start. So uh, our next step will be to sort of sync the slides with the um, with the beat, with the changes, with something in the music, just so it's, it flows a little better. So to do that, we're going to have to play the track a lot and try to I'm counting that bang there as the beat, and that's what I'm going to use throughout the whole track. So it seemed to come, the picture ended a little bit later than the beat, so I'm going to shorten the first three slides to like um, so anyway smaller and then we're going to replay it again just to see how it, how the beat uh, looks it's, it's still not too good so I'm going to make them even shorter just to get it lined up. I'm just playing with the duration of a bunch of slides to try to get myself synced up and then I'll worry about the rest of the images uh, syncing with the beat. I 
it goes out of sync a little bit. The beat is not exactly what I've chosen. So I'm going to make some uh, slides shorter. Uh, see if that can get me lined up again. So it's still way, way off. So I'm going to make a little more extreme changes. This is how it goes anyway. You make some changes, fix it up, make it sync, do some more. So I'm going to leave the rest of that as an exercise. It's really time consuming. So I'm going to add some transitions. I'm, I'm going to add, like, say, for the first five slides, the same transition, then the next five, same transition, just to show how it's done in Movie Maker. Um, I don't you probably wouldn't use the same transitions all the way through but you don't want to use too many different ones either so that's that's something you can uh, watch YouTube videos on how to make a nice AV show get some ideas so we just go through this quick and put them all on the final bunch all the same except for the last little bit so the last few slides the uh, up including the credit I'll uh, give it a different transition just so it looks looks nicer. We have a nice fade out too. So here's just a demo. It sort of looks okay. You can see the uh, the beat seems to be okay on the uh, on the mark. Pretty close. But, uh, of course, it needs fixing up. Just checking that everything works before we save it. And we see how it finishes. Now to save it, we do uh, save as a 1080p. Uh, or they call it high, high definition. We just save that on the USB stick, give it a better name. So this saving thing is going to take quite a while, so we'll come back when it's closer to being finished. So it's writing it to uh, the, the USB stick now. And it's all done. So we're going to take a little peek at it, what we saved, and just make sure that it plays properly. Transitions look all right. Sounds like it's, you know, it's close to the beat. That's a real painstaking operation to tidy that up. So uh, I didn't do it very well. And that's it. That's how to use Movie Maker to make a slideshow.